The Canyon County Jail has seen its first escape of the year. This after a number of escapes over the past two years that led to new security measures. Six on your side's Michael Severn reports. They have 24 hours a day to sit in there and try to figure out how to defeat this. On Wednesday morning, police say this man, Eric Garcia, escaped from the Canyon County Minimum Security Tent Jail. Investigators say he cut through the siding in the shower area and then climbed over a 10 foot fence with razor wire to escape. You know, it is a tent where it, it, it's a tent that every time we fix something, there's other areas that someone is going to try to figure out where they can compromise at that point. Police say Garcia was arrested almost immediately, but not before he broke into a nearby house to change clothes. The 10 foot fence with razor wire that Garcia climbed over is just one of the new security measures county leaders finished installing just weeks ago. But police say this recent escape shows no matter how much they improve it, inmates will find a way to escape. Every time that we figure out another way to harden a portion of the tent, there will be a time that they'll find another place that they can exploit and get out. This is an ongoing problem in Canyon County that's not going to be solved until there is a, some new facility built. Planning for a new jail has already begun, not only to keep inmates in, but to hold more so the county doesn't have to let them go or ship them out to other counties. There's nearly 600 people out on pretrial release, and a lot of those people should be within a facility somewhere. I've got people in multiple other counties that the county taxpayers are paying $70 a day to house them out of county because there's no room in our own jail. Michael Severin, six on your side. Until they get a new jail, the Canyon County Sheriff's Office says they will just continue to make improvements to the one they have now.